So Jesus is the truth, and a white horse symbolizes victory. So Jesus was always victorious. And that's a really big revelation. Imagine this, that you can have a life on this earth, starting on this earth, always being victorious. Imagine that you could never lose. How awesome is that? This is what Jesus paid the price. Jesus paid the price for us to walk in 100% victory. We're going to go through scriptures, and I'll prove it to you, that Jesus' expectation, God's expectation, is for us to be 100% victorious, to win every time. And so, if that's God's expectation, that means we have the ability to be 100% victorious. But, if we don't see ourselves victorious all the time, if we see a potential of losing, and if we're honest with ourselves, we, are, we train ourselves and we prepare ourselves for loss. Naturally, to, we, we always lower the bar for ourselves and give ourselves room to fail. Why? Because that's what happened in the past. Because every time that we have a failure in something, we see that failure all the time. When I was thinking about this, Holy Spirit reminded me, when I was um, a kid and when we came to the U.S., um, it was still, you know, the Cold War was raging. And so uh, I didn't know anything about a Cold War. I didn't know anything. I did not know a difference. And so when I was a kid, I was really excited to come to America because in the Soviet Union, I was persecuted for being a Christian. I was always beat up as a kid, and people would call me this na these names. I didn't even understand what it means. Like, I just wanted to show up and do math and read and write, and these people would just pick on me and beat me up and call me these names. And I, for me, like, it didn't, I didn't understand. Like, why are they picking on me? Like, what, what's going on? And so I was excited to come to America, and then the same thing was happening here. I would just constantly get beat up and, you know, multiple times, you know, left to die, and so finally, my dad said, son, this is enough. Like, I can't be with there protecting you. Uh, he got me some weights, and he said, start working out and start defending yourself. I'm like, okay. So I don't have to turn my cheek every time? Well, he goes, sometimes do, but every once in a while, you can punch back. Because <laughs> he just got tired of me getting my butt kicked all the time. And so I started seeing myself. I started working out and lifting weights and started getting myself stronger and stronger and stronger, I had to start overcoming this fear. Because I was so used to getting my butt kicked all the time. And so when a big group of kids were coming, like, I, like that's it. Like, am I going to survive this time? And so that was what I was, the way I was programmed, and I was programmed to lose. It, it was an automatic expectation. I knew I had no chance. And so when I started working out and building my confidence, and I start practicing punching and doing things on, you know, on a punching bag and other things, and then when I got into a real situation, I remember I'd start getting dreams, and in my dreams, I was, um, somebody was picking on me or trying to beat me up, and I'm trying to punch him, and I can't punch him. Like, I can't reach their face, or I can't get them. And so that fear just followed me everywhere. And then finally, you know, this group attacked me, and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to punch, see what happens. I'm not training anybody to punch. I'm just showing you how to get out of this losing mentality. And so when I punched, this one kid, he fell over, and everybody else looked and ran. And I'm like, <laughs> whoa, this is cool. And I didn't even punch him really hard. But I started getting over this mentality that I'm going to lose every single time. And I started, after that victory, I started seeing like, wow, like this is a different situation, different outcome. I was used to being beat up all the time, and now I won. And so that happened a couple more times, reputation spread, and I was never touched again. But I had to decide for myself that I can do this, I can win. And so don't go out punching anybody. But in the spirit realm, we're supposed to be punching and destroying the works of the devil. We're supposed to see in ourselves as defeating the enemy every single time. Our expectation should be 100% victory. 
even though we might be losing, I mean, everybody's in different uh, stages of uh, understanding what God's word says. So you might be only, you might be losing 100% of the time right now. You might be winning 5%. You might be winning 10%. But you have to start seeing yourself that you're going to win 100% of the time. Why? Because Jesus was victory. He won every single time. Think about it. Since the time he was born to the time he died, he won every single time. He destroyed the enemy 100% of the time. And he is our example of how we can be. And so it's a mindset shift. It's renewing your mind to start seeing yourself. So if, you, if the devil kicked your butt, don't stay down. That's why Jesus said, get up, get up, get up all the time. If somebody falls, get back up, keep moving forward. And start seeing yourself victorious. That's how you're going to destroy the enemy. It's one step at a time. One fight at a time. We have to remember that we're in the war. So if you lose a battle, it does not mean that you lost the war. You still have an opportunity to get up and keep fighting back. And if you need help, get other people to help you. But for each individual person, we're supposed to set a goal that as Jesus was victorious 100% of the time, we are going to be victorious 100% of the time in everything, whatever the situation is. The virus is going around. If it touches you, is that a loss or a victory? No, that's not victory. If it touches you, that's not victory. That's a loss. It's not a trick question. I'm not tricky. I'm, I'm very straightforward. So if coronavirus attacks us, that's a loss. So what should be our expectation? That it cannot touch us, correct? Yeah. So set an expectation that whatever is going on, regardless or if it's, you know, like whatever people's opinions are, if it's strong, if it's weak, whether or not it will kill you or not kill you, who cares what it can do, decide that it will not come near you. And live your life believing that truth in agreeing with what God says. Why? Because Jesus said that nothing shall harm you, nothing shall touch you, nothing shall come near you. And so if we decide that that's where we want to be, we want to be in that state of constant victory, if we settle that, then it's done. So I'll be honest, when it just came around, started hitting like, I, I had these thoughts that... What if I touch this handle? That's what everybody touches. That's the thoughts were coming in. Well, you're technically are touching that virus. If somebody had it and put it on there, the devil was giving me thoughts that that's where the virus is. And then I had to make a decision. Either I'm going to be trying to pull my uh, coat to open the door, and it will be just a matter of time till I get it, or I'm just going to use my hand and open the door and decide, like, I'm not going to get it. So we each have to make a decision whether or not it will touch us or not touch us. If you're hesitating, you're already lost. That's a guaranteed loss. If you're hesitating, why? Because the Bible says that a double-minded person will not receive anything from the Lord. If you're thinking both sides, you lost. You have to settle 100% victory. And even if you fail the first time, you fail the second time, you fail the third time, it doesn't matter. Expect 100% victory, and if you get kicked, get back up and keep moving forward. But our expectation, 100% victory, and we're not going to settle for anything else. Amen? Amen.